Monkeypox cases on the rise in California. Here's a look at the numbers for you. As of this week, the CDC reported 266 positive cases in our state. San Francisco now showing the highest case count in the Bay Area, recording 86 positive cases so far. The virus appearing to disproportionately impact the gay community and vaccine supply is running low. And happening tomorrow, one LGBTQ group is planning to protest outside the San Francisco office of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Joining me now to discuss is the co-chair of the Alice B. Toklas LGBTQ Democratic Club, Gary McCoy. Thanks very much for joining us uh, live here this morning. Thank you for having me. And so your group is behind the planned demonstration happening tomorrow. Uh, we just spoke with Supervisor uh, Raphael Mandelman uh, on the show as well. And um, hopefully you're able to see this video. If not, I'll describe it to you. But we, let's play this video um, that we also showed him. Uh, we've been reporting all week that uh, people were waiting outside uh, San Francisco General Hospital for hours to get vaccinated. Uh, lots of people getting turned away, um, even for those who are trying to get an appointment, having to wait in those long lines. Uh, what goes through your mind when you see images like this, when you hear about stories like this? I mean, this this just shows that, you know, while monkeypox is not exclusive to the LGBTQ community, I mean, it is impacting us the most, especially right now, and especially with a, a lack of access to adequate vaccine supply. And so, I mean, these lines just show that our community is concerned and we're, we're scared. Uh, we're trying to take responsibility for our health and for the health of those around us. Uh, and, you know, it's hard to do that when, you know, the, the, the current distribution of vaccines aren't equitable. Uh, there is certainly not enough a supply of them. Uh, we're also dealing with stigma around it because right now our community is the most impacted. And so these are all things that we're going to be, you know, demanding from Health and Human Services tomorrow at noon. What is your message for federal health leaders in charge of vaccine distribution? I mean, first and foremost, it's, it's increasing access. It's, it's making sure that we have enough vaccine supply and distribution throughout the community, uh, that the community-based community -based organizations uh, are able to distribute them in an equitable uh, manner, uh, but also to ensure equity and making sure that we're including gay, bisexual, and other men who have sex with men, sex workers, trans and non-binary folks, uh, and ensuring that our BIPOC community members uh, who are at risk may may also be prioritized. Uh, additionally, as I said earlier, fighting stigma. We need to balance the need for population-specific messaging with non-stigmatizing sex-positive health communication and public health response strategies. Um, you know, there, there's a lot. You know, Twitter can be toxic, but right now we're we're being blamed uh, for this this crisis, this emerging crisis, and and so we need more education. Uh, we need more support from our allies, and we need them to be speaking up as well. Have you had any conversations with our local and state lawmakers about vaccine distribution and how have those conversations gone? We have, we have. I mean, we're very fortunate. Uh, Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi has stepped up and she's uh, been providing awareness through her district office uh, on, on what's going on and with various resources and what to look for. Uh, you know, State Senator Scott Weiner and Assemblymember Matt Haney came forward uh, very early on. Uh, when, when this started to, to be a concern in, within the community. Supervisor Rafael Mandelman and, and Supervisor Dorsey. So the, these are all of our, our, you know, our community uh, and allies that have been stepping up right away. Um, you know, we're working closely with Equality California, the Harvey Milk LGBTQ Democratic Club, the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I think it's going to take a unified mm -hmm. effort and, uh, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a strategy uh, from our local, state and federal uh, agencies to make sure that we can we can ensure that we are all being vaccinated, uh, and and you know that we we don't transmit the virus, that we don't get the the virus. I mean, this is something that can put people out of work for you know two to six weeks, and I don't know who has two to six weeks of paid leave. I don't. Mm. And you know, we heard from Senator Weiner and Assemblyman Matt Haney this week. They're calling the government's federal, the federal government's response to monkeypox vaccine distribution a uh, public health crisis, a public health failure. Rather, uh, is that something you agree with? I do agree. I mean, you know, this this isn't something that we uh, we're scrambling to figure out how to. Uh, 
how to how to treat. I mean, we have a we have a vaccine readily available. Uh, we have the infrastructure from the the COVID pandemic to 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 get that out. And so I think you know the supply and distribution from HHS is is an abysmal failure, and yeah. it's something that needs to be stepped up, and it needs to be stepped up now. I mean, we we heard they sent out a, a shipment last week. It's not enough. Uh, they uh, have have talked about putting out, uh, I believe, two and a half million doses by, by the end of next year. Uh, we'll start seeing some of that at the end of this year. That's not fast enough. I mean, this, this is, this is, it's really disappointing uh, to, to see how much effort went behind the, uh, the, the COVID pandemic and then to see the lack of effort uh, around monkeypox. You're referencing the 4,100 vaccines that are expected to arrive in San Francisco sometime next week. That's correct. And then what do we do between that, that when those are gone, what do we do between that, that period of time and then, you know, months from now when, when we're expecting the next shipment? Mm -hmm. And to tie things up here, what is your message for people in the Bay Area watching this who are concerned about monkeypox and concerned about whether or not they can get the vaccines that they're looking for? <laughs> I mean, right now, the best we can do is, is follow guidance from the Department of Public Health. You can always go uh, to their website uh, for the most, most current and up-to-date guidance, which is constantly changing. Uh, there is guidance from the CDC, although it's severely lacking, which is something else we're going to be calling on them uh, to provide more information when we're there tomorrow at HHS. All right, Gary McCoy with the Alice B. Toklas LGBTQ Democratic Club. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you.